Good day everybody, welcome to a style tutorial in Creo. This video I'm going to show you how to make a nicely defined heart shape in Creo and also I'll show you how to close off um, a three sided blend on the top and bottom. That's an uh, interesting technique as well. Alright, let's get started. We're going to file new, make sure to part file and I'm going to use a millimeter template all right style is here so is a advanced servicing feature in creo so we start up in there and i'll set the active plane to front view our projected flat and we'll create our curves here so i'll draw the heart shape to make the heart shape we the best way to define it is to draw the outlines on the, the front and the right side all right so if you turn this on you get these um, controller points okay I'm in creation mode I'll go out of there and then I'll go to curve edit I need to place these points onto the axis so I'll set that to zero so it sits exactly on the zero point in space okay and just adjust the points to make the shape how you like all right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go copy copy is a very useful tool to keep the curves define um, in the same point for a copy of the curve so it's very useful like that and I'll go accept and next we will draw the side profile so we go activate click on this plane and we will draw your curves just draw we won't make it attach for now so we'll go we we'll draw a line there we accept that and then we edit the curves now and now we can attach the point to the curve and adjust the curve to make a nice shape keep the keep the curves nice and simple all right next step is we will need to copy this curve when you make a copy of this curve, make sure unlinked is ticked so it doesn't remain linked and I'll accept that. Maybe I should drag this up a little bit. All right, there you go, we accept that. Okay, the next step, we're just gonna draw a line in the middle and I will draw on to Let's, let's set it to this plane and we'll draw a curve. Just draw a simple line here to here. We accept that and now we go edit the curve and we can attach that to the line. And okay, one important thing to make the curves tangent we drag these points here and we go to tangent we go set to normal when this curve is normal to to this plane it will blend blend well with the next surface so that, that's how you make it blend well so set that to normal and it says here select plane so we select this plane and I will just adjust the curve to make sure it blends well with the surface on the top and on the left all right so we're nearly done we'll just make a copy I'm gonna drag this all the way I'll keep that linked and I'll drag that all the way up. I'm going to drag it. 
all right just make one there and I'll make a copy go uh, go copy make sure this is unlinked and now you can drag a copy of the line down here all right all right now we simply need to just move this curve into make this smaller make the curves nice and clean and we do that the same here as well and we simply need, need to check how it looks like on the front view so go on the right view make sure they sort of the line is nice and and clean okay that one's good and we do that the same to the top so let's go right view let's bring this down and let's go to top view just make the curves look nicer Alright, so now the let me move this down a bit more. Okay, and that is great. Alright, simply we need to blend it and mirror everything and we're done. So we click here, here click that click on the second trajectory actually let's do that again I did that wrong so we need to select this this all the way around and we make sure this is normal this is normal and okay and then we do that again for this surface And make sure this is normal or curvature, however you like. And this part's the tricky part here. To make a three-sided surface blend, we go uh, okay, here, here, here. And what we need to do, it's saying on the bottom, the surface the curve defines more than one surface. What we need to do is we right-click on the bottom point here, we go trim at, and we go trim at this line here. And we can set the blend here to be tangent, that is good, and we go OK. So that's a tricky one, it's good to remember that for the future. So we go close this off on the bottom here, so we go click there, there, and there. And again, it says define more than one surface. The cover is define more, more than one surface. We simply go trim at, click on this line, and voila, it, it creates a surface there. We set the blend to tangent, and I'll go accept that. And we're nearly done. We go out of styles, and we'll just mirror these features here. We click this style feature, we go mirror, click, uh, click mirror to the right plane and mirror these as well we go mirror again and mirror that along the front plane and we have our shape defined so in this style technique is uh, you can you can control it control it really well and you can get a really nice shape in uh, in creo exactly a smooth nice hard shape it's it's a bit sharp on the bottom here but uh, you can play around with it make uh, you can make it more smooth later all right I hope you find that useful uh, how can we bring this up oh, there you go that button that button brings it up and uh, have a great day guys I hope that was useful See ya.